Okay, so today we have the Bolshoi, uh, which I think that's how you say that, and Sunday morning. Now, I do see there is a six and a half minute video, uh, and there's also just the video here, which is four minutes, 42 seconds. And uh, this one has the most views. I think it's the music video, so I went with this one. So I apologize if you wanted the extended version. Anyway, we're getting into this one. Talk about it after. Uh, these guys were requested a few times, so I said, what the hey? Here we go. Piano. I remember when I was young, Ooh. feeling sick on Sunday morning. I don't want to do it anymore. Ooh. Voice crack. Oh my, <clears throat> I love that. My God, the Bolshoi 
and Sunday morning. I gotta say, they brought that couch and lamp everywhere. Um, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so right off the bat, I gotta say, I'm thinking of a song. I'm thinking of songs like Dear God from XTC. I'm thinking of, you know, fucking American Jesus. I mean, from Bad Religion. You know, these songs that come to mind, which kind of have the same um, uh, kind of, uh, message, I guess, kind of meaning, whatever. Yeah, coming into the Sunday morning, I didn't really think about this might be a religious, you know, track or talking about religion, um, anti-religious, perhaps in a way, anti-God in a way. Um, my God. And again, as somebody, you know, as a, as a person who's, I, I guess I'll just say, I mean, my God is an atheist myself. Um, and again, I don't know if these guys are atheists or what their whole stories are. Cause again, this is my first time listening to the Bolshoi. But I just love their take on this. And talking about, you know, Sunday morning. I mean, just to say off the bat, I love how melancholic the song is. I love how groovy it is, too. I mean, right off the bat, I was just grooving along to the sound. Um, just beautiful guitars on this, too. Just so light and delicate, it felt like, too. Um, I really enjoyed that. <laughs> anyway, I'm uh, doing a lot with my hands. But with the man on the vocals here, I got to see the personnel, too. Trevor Tanner, which is a great name, uh, an alliteration as well. But Trevor Tanner here, just... Uh, it, the looks he's given in the video too, he looks done. You know, he talks about, I don't want to do it anymore. And he seems like he, yeah, he doesn't. And I like how at the end of the video too, he says, I don't want to do it anymore. And it's kind of, it, it kind of made me think, cause then he gets up off the couch and leaves and it's like, he's done with the song. You know, I don't want to do it anymore. Now I'm leaving. Um, anyway, so I just love how they put that in there too. And how that just kind of worked with the video. But, uh, yeah. And I just, the video was so intriguing too, you know, going to all these different spaces and him laying on the couch at points and, uh, you know, just again, staring daggers through the camera. It's just so good. And um, and again, with these lyrics, I mean, I might as well just I, I just get right into it. I mean, we're talking about here, uh, you know, going, I guess you say going to church on uh, on Sunday morning and uh, my dog had a cough. Anyway, going to church on Sunday morning. And um, and I was one of those children. Um, I would, you know, go into church on Sunday morning, uh, with my parents and, uh, and I, as a, you know, myself, a very, um, you know, shy kid. I didn't like going to, <laughs> go to Sunday school, um, or anything like that. I mean, my God, I usually stayed with my parents the whole time. Uh, instead of going down to Sunday school, I, you know, got the full experience in the church and, um, and again, you know, I don't know. So that's just, it's very relatable to me. And you talk about, you know, you wear, you wear your Sunday best. You go, uh, my favorite part, you know, as a fat, ch fat child was the food, you know, <laughs> in the hall there, you know, uh, as he said, uh, the tea and, uh, I forget what else he said, but we'll get to that soon. But, uh, you know, I love, I love the donuts. I loved, uh, you know, the muffins, all the stuff, you know, as you can tell. And, um, you know, so that's really what I took away from church. You know, uh, you know, you get through this and then you have the dinner, you have the, the food after. And, um, but again, we talk about, you know, how he seems to have a disdain for, uh, you know, the, the going to church or for maybe just religion, whatever. But at the same time, I think about how much deeper it might be. And I wanted to just take a little break there because I wanted to also say with, the, I, I think I talked about earlier how he's kind of rejecting religion, I would say. But also, is he just rejecting kind of everything that goes along with religion? As one person I see in the comments put it, uh, puts it, uh, just, you know, religious dogma. Um, you know, again, why is it only just this one day of the week where it, it counts, where we really have to turn the cheek or where we really have to look good? Um, it's just like, why can't we be nice to each other all the time or respect each other all the time? Again, it seems like he's thinking these gatherings, uh, every Sunday are just so superficial. And, uh, anyway, it's, just, it's so thought provoking. I just love, uh, the way where they went with this. Um, anyway, because again, I just love as somebody again, and when I say I'm an atheist, I always feel so edgy saying that, but again, I am a skeptic, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like, uh, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, this kind of speaks to me. I remember when I was young, feeling sick on Sunday morning. I don't want to do it anymore. Again, he's talking about when he was a child. And again, I relate to this. Um, and I was really only sick because again, I was so shy and I hated other other children. I don't know. I was a very shy kid. And um, yeah, so I hated going to, and seeing other children at Sunday school and all that crap. Anyway, feeling sick on Sunday morning. I don't want to do it anymore. He doesn't want to go there anymore. He hates this whole my goodness, this whole routine, he's done with it. Standing in line with a dirty mind, I'll clean it up on Sunday morning, I don't want to do it anymore. Again, this is the only day it matters. I won't have a dirty mind on this Sunday morning, because that's the only time it matters, and I'll be a good little boy. And then we go on, one, one day a week, we turn the cheek, one day a week, we turn the cheek. Again, the emphasis on this one day a week, this Sunday morning, that's when it counts the most. Oh, how we kneeled down, we were so quiet. And again, I think about you know how quiet a church usually is it's the guy the at the front which i don't remember uh what they're called but uh you know doing the uh, the church service whatever the hell and uh you know and how everyone else is so quiet what's that saying uh you know quietest church mice i think anyway never any light there i don't care it's not right there and again just how he, he doesn't care he doesn't want to do this anymore 
Uh, and then we go on to the third verse, get up early, do your hair. And again, it was very early. Church was always so early. And I just wanted to sleep in. My God, Sunday best on Sunday morning. Well, I don't want to see it anymore. And again, the way he said see and the way he would say do, you could tell in, my re in the reaction. I just loved his little voice cracks on that. Uh, you know, Trevor's voice was just so good on this. He was so, um, uh, what's the word, you know, so kind of cutthroat on a little bit he was very um judgmental you could just tell from the way he was delivering this he was you know really i mean you know, passion he was very passionate on this one uh you know everything he was saying you could, you could believe that he was you know really felt it anyway uh, and then the uh, fourth verse which i talked about earlier which was usually my favorite part of the church stuff uh tea and toast in the social hall we had it all on sunday morning i don't want to see it anymore again he doesn't want to see this tea and toast that's what really comes to my mind he's done with this stuff he's done with these social halls this social hall stuff this socializing any uh, at church to begin with he's done with that we come in fear to worship here we come in fear to worship here again i think about and again i'm not very uh <clears throat> not very religious so <laughs> i don't know everything but I think about like um, a, the George Carlin bit on religion. I think about how, you know, you do, you know, you, there is a fear of God, um, you, you know, to do well for God. Uh, you, you know, you would come here to worship God. And, um, you know, again, if you don't do these things, sometimes, you know, you could go to hell, you could burn in hell, but at the same time, he loves you. Again, it just, uh, George Carlin comes to mind. Anyway, you know, George Carlin, XCC, Bad Religion, as I said earlier, these things all come to mind for this track here. Um, oh, we kneel down. Again, we have that chorus one more time. Then the bridge, it's wrong to feel, it's wrong to care. You must not steal, you must not swear. Again, just talking about, I would think too, you know, these things, you must not steal, you must not swear, especially on Sunday morning, at, you know, at church. Um, it's wrong to feel, it's wrong to care. Uh, and then we go on with the chorus one more time. And then they said, uh, the outro, yes, it is. I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to see it anymore. Sunday morning repeated five times at the end. And again, just such a, <laughs> what a great look on Sunday morning. And even if you are religious or whatever, again, it's just like for me, um, you know, and people who are religious, you know, they care about this stuff all the time, which is good, which I think is, you know, you're supposed to do. But some people who aren't, who just go uh, to church on Sunday morning and, you know, and think that that's all they got to do to be religious or to be, um, you know, a good Christian or a good Catholic person, whatever. I don't know. It's just these things that come to mind. It's just like, I feel like there should be more that you have to do. You should have to serve God more than just this one day. Uh, and I don't know, that's just what comes to my mind and, um, and how maybe that's what Trevor is trying to get at here, what the Bolshoi are trying to get at too. And I talk about Trevor Tanner so much, but uh, there are other people on the track too. But of course, uh, just to end this off with the band members, so of course, Trevor Tanner, like I said, on the vocals and guitar from 83 to 88. That's when the band existed, I guess. Uh, Jan Kalicki, uh, great last name, on drums and backing vocals. Graham Cox, who was apparently their former bassist. He was apparently, I wouldn't say he was on this one because this came out in 86. He left the band in 85. But at the same time, Graham Cox, I think of Graham Coxon of Blur, who was the bassist of Blur. Uh, so yeah, just like that, Graham Cox is in there. Anyway, Paul Clark on keyboards and guitar and backing vocals from 86 to 88. And Nick Chown, who I would guess would be the bassist on this one who was in the band from 85 to 88 and uh, you know just want to give everyone their due there and again this band wasn't together for too long but they had a few uh, apparently they had a few hits including this one which again is just such an, an introspective thought-provoking look a uh, thoughtful look on uh, you know this th these gatherings at church you know religion why do we only care about this one day of week um and again there are people who you know serve god all the time uh who pray all the time whatever every night they go to some kind of uh you know thing uh you know a chapel whatever uh, but again i think about the people who I don't know, kind of use God in the wrong way, which I don't think it's, you know, kind of, they're ter they can be terrible people, uh, you know, whatever the hell, you know, abusive. I don't know, just these things that come to mind, but they go to church one day a week and they feel like, you know, well, you know, I'm a, I'm a godly man. But uh, again, I just feel like that the song, on the surface, the song kind of just seems to be about this, the disdain for religion, but I feel like there's a lot more deeper things to it than just that, uh, past the surface so again but who the hell am i i'm not i'm not a religious guy myself so anyway um so th <laughs> thanks for watching thanks for the request I, I forget who requested this but you know what i like and i appreciate that so th thanks for watching thanks for liking subscribing commenting all that stuff really appreciate all the support and uh again no friggin uh you know i i don't mean to if you're religious whatever you know watch us I, I don't mean any hate or whatever uh again i'm just you know uh, i don't know but uh, anyway yeah so i just wanted to say that too um i don't you know whatever you like you can do and you know you do you boo so yeah thanks for watching i'll talk to you guys again soon